we have a recursively defined function. We're given two initial conditions or two values. B1 is 3, B2 is 9, and then for any integer bigger than or equal to 3, we can find bn by taking 2bn minus 1 plus 3bn minus 2. So for instance, at 3, we would take 2 times 9 plus 3 times uh, 3, right, to get that value. And then we could build our way up. Well, what we're trying to do is prove that bn is 3 to the n. And we will do this by induction. Okay, so I'm going to state by induction on n. If you don't want to state this, make sure that you label the basis step and label the inductive step so that your reader knows you are using induction. Okay, well, my basis step, in fact, in this one, I will use strong induction. And maybe you don't see that right away, but you can really realize which, if you need strong induction or normal induction, in your inductive step, I will need strong, as we will see. So I will go ahead and check two initial conditions because maybe you can kind of see it here. I will step back two times. Now, you do not want to start with n equals 3. You're not trying to prove bn is 3 to the n for all n bigger than or equal to 3. You're trying to prove for all positive integers n. So we must begin with b1. This is 3, and that is also 3 to the 1. Okay, very nice. Then I will check one more. b2, this is 9. It's given. This is also 3 squared. Wonderful. Okay, so now for the inductive step. And I mentioned I'm going to be using strong induction here. So we assume k is bigger than or equal to the highest thing that you showed, which is 2, and for the bottom thing that you're proving, less than or equal to um, n, less than or equal to k, bn is 3 to the n. This is the strong induction hypothesis. Okay, you have to assume the statement all the way up to k. And then we show, always show the next one. Okay, this is where we will use our recursion. So b k plus 1 equals, well, we use this 2 b k plus 3, step back 2, which would be bk minus 1, okay? Now, because k is bigger than or equal to 2, we know that k minus 1 is in this interval. It's bigger than or equal to 1. Okay, so... Thus, we may use our inductive hypothesis and when we do that, we get bk plus 1 equals, it's going to be 2 times, well the inductive hypothesis says that bk is 3 to the k and then plus the inductive hypothesis, because it's a strong hypothesis, also says that bk minus 1 is 3 to the k minus 1. And now it's a matter of properties of exponents. This is going to be a 2 times 3 to the k plus 1 times 3 to the k, which all together gets me a 3 to the k, 2 plus 1, 3 to the k plus 1, okay? Now, we wanted to show bk plus 1 is 3 to the k plus 1, okay? Maybe you just say 
you can combine this equality thus. BK plus 1 equals 3 to the K plus 1, comma, as desired. Okay, and then this is the end of our proof. We have proof by induction. Here is another recursively defined function. Okay, one thing that's different is that we start with only one value given. We have a1 is 3, and then we have this recursive formula that a n is 2 a n minus 1 minus n plus 2 for n bigger than or equal to 2. We would like to prove this explicit formula for a n, that it's 2 to the n plus n, and we will use induction. Okay, well, what's different from this one than the last? The last problem we were forced to use strong induction because in my inductive step, the way that I did it, I stepped back one, two times, so I needed two um, cases in my basis step, and I needed a strong inductive hypothesis. However, if you notice here, we only step back one time. So a n is written only in terms of a n minus one, and then some function of n. So we can use normal induction here. We do not need the strong hypothesis. And moreover, we can check only one um, case in our basis step. So this is what we will begin. I will write it like this, or, you know, as I said in the last one, if you either need to label basis step and inductive step, or tell me you're using induction. That way your reader knows what you're doing, what kind of proof you're doing. The basis step. Now, this is quite important. We always start at the bottom, okay? You get on the ladder at one. So this is what we must check. You don't want to start checking with two. That's not where you're starting. You're trying to prove something. Look here. For positive integers n, so we must check the smallest positive integer, which is n equals one. Okay, so n equals one. Well, we have a1 is 3, and this should be equal to 2 to the 1 plus 1. In fact, it is. 2 plus 1 gives us 3. Very nice. Now our inductive step. We assume we have some k big or equal to 1. Of course, we have this is an integer, and um, the statement holds for k, which says that a k equals 2 to the k plus k. And we want to show that a k plus 1 equals 2 to the k plus 1 plus k plus 1. This is the statement for the next integer, and this is what we need to show. Okay, very nice. Now, here is where we will use this definition. We have that a k plus 1 equals 2 a k minus, now we have to be careful here, this n and this n match. So this k plus 1 would also come here and then plus 2 like this. Right? This is the n, 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 k plus 1, k plus 1. Okay, we have to match it right or things won't work out. And now, this is using the recursive definition. Now I may use my inductive hypothesis, which says that a k is 2 to the k plus k. And then we have minus quantity k plus 1 plus 2, and this is using the inductive hypothesis, although you could write it out too. Now comes just some manipulation to get where we're trying to go, which we see it exactly here. So we have, this is a 2 to the k plus 1 plus 2k, then we have minus k minus 1 plus 2, okay? I'm not there yet. Okay, now, then I have, this is a k 
And then 2 minus 1 is a 1. Okay? So therefore, AK plus 1 is 2 to the K plus 1 plus K plus 1 as desired. As desired. Okay, very nice. And this concludes this proof by induction. Let's do one more proof by induction. This is not a recursively defined function. It is an equation, so we want to prove for every positive integer n that this sum on the left-hand side equals this um, fraction on the right-hand side. Okay, and we will do this by induction. Our basis step always at the bottom, the first positive integer is 1. Or if you're proving a statement for n bigger than or equal to your favorite integer, you would start with that. But here we're proving for positive integers, we begin with n equals 1. Okay, well this, there's almost nothing to see here. The left hand side is 1 over 1 times 2. And the right hand side, if we if we put this, it is 1 over 2, which is definitely equal to this, okay? Very nice. Now, the inductive step. We assume k bigger than or equal to 1, and that is an integer. Maybe I'll say this. And that 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 out to 1 over k, k plus 1 equals k over k plus 1. This is our inductive hypothesis. Now what do we need to show? We show the statement for k plus 1, namely plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus plus 1 over when I put k plus 1 in for n, I get k plus 1 and k plus 2. And this better be equal to k plus 1 over k plus 2. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're trying to show. We have it written, now we have guidance. We have, again, we need to think about our inductive hypothesis and maybe to begin, this proof, I will write out the kth term here, which goes k, k plus 1. And then I will put the k plus first term because this will help me. Now, this is the left hand side for the equation or the statement for n equals k. And we know by our inductive hypothesis that this sum equals here k over k plus 1 and then plus, now I write this term, so this is by the inductive hypothesis, okay? The inductive hypothesis, exactly if I underline it here, is that this green equals that there. Now, okay, what are we going to do? Well, we want something of the form k plus 2 in the denominator. I see a sum of two fractions. It's very natural to get a common denominator, which would be, so this equals, I multiply this by k plus 2. And then plus 1. Very nice. Well, I can multiply this out. This is k squared plus 2k plus 1 over. And now we are almost there. One final step is to factor. Well, this is a k plus 1 quantity squared. And then we can cancel off one of the k plus 1s. 
we're left with k plus 1 over k plus 2. And then this is as desired. Right? 